This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 1095 of Horse Tip Daily, your almost everyday morsel of helpful hints, useful facts, and practical techniques for horse folks. Brought to you today by Kentucky Performance Products. Greetings, horse people. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today's tip is an excerpt from the Horses in the Morning sh- monthly jumping episode. Kama Godek joins show co-hosts Emily Thompson and Glenn for a talk about why knowing your clients' goals and aspirations is essential for success. And we'll get right to our tip after this important message from Kentucky Performance Products. He was her first love, the one that started it all. He taught her how to master the posting trot and navigate her first hunter course. They spent hours together exploring the trails and hanging out in the barn. His name was doodled on every page in her school notebook. His coat gleamed in the sun as he met her at the gate each day, snuffling for a treat. From the first time she saw him poking his head out of the stall to the last time she patted him goodbye, he was, and always will be, her everything. This love story is brought to you by Nalox Advanced, providing complete support for a healthy digestive tract, which reduces the risk of colic and digestive upset. The horse that matters to you matters to Kentucky Performance Products. Call 859-873-2974 or visit kppusa.com to order today. Well, I was thinking you had had told me about this training tip, and my idea as a a trainer, when I meet someone for the first time, I always ask them what their goals are. It's important to know where someone's trying to get to and to know if the person is riding for fun or they want to go out and be the best that they can be and get as far as they can in the sport because you'll absolutely have to teach them accordingly. If someone is just having fun and wants to ride well and not interfere with their horse when they go over a jump, then you're going to teach them differently than if someone's aspirations are to go to the Olympics, regardless of whether or not they'll get there. But someone that wants to jump in a 130 or 140 or something like that, you're going to teach them differently. Even the children, they'll push themselves more and you'll know how far you can push them, maybe even a little bit to the edge of their comfort zone versus someone that's riding for fun. You'll make completely different exercises and you need to keep that in mind when you're teaching them. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, just listening, just taking the time. Because, yeah, you know those trainers. They just dig into you right off the bat, and they're they're on an agenda. But, yeah, just taking the time to listen and ask the student, where, what are the goals? Where are, you, where are you wanting to head? And where the horse as well, obviously factoring that in. You're a good trainer, Cam. I want to tell you, really, you've got a great way about you, and you're really you, – you take clients, right? Isn't that your business as well? Right. Correct. Yes, I do. Yep. I do. So check her out I've on the website, show-jumpers.com is Camagodic's website, and uh, importation lessons and trainer certification. I mean, you're about to be certified, but this is this is really the way that, that people should be training to achieve the goals. Well, there you have it. You can find links to today's guests as well as lots more tips at horsetipdaily.com. This podcast was made possible through the generous support of Kentucky Performance Products and listeners like you. Learn how you can help support Horse Radio Network programming and qualify for auditors-only perks by going to horsetipdaily.com and clicking on the Become an Auditor banner in the center of the page. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily.